now let's talk about the entropy generation in an open system okay so uh, in an open system there is a transfer of three quantities the first is mass the second is energy and the third is entropy so these three uh, you know quantities can transfer to and from an open system now the control surface if you if you look at this figure you have this control surface okay and the control su uh, surface has one or more than one openings for the mass transfer to take place because it is an open system all right now uh there is some uh, you know there is some uh, shaft work transfer across it that is across the control surface you have this rate of work done as shaft work okay there is some shaft attached to it so if you look at this uh, diagram there is some mass inflow okay rate of mass inflow there is some rate of mass you know outflow or mass exit going out all right so if you look at uh, this whole system this is an open system because mass can enter and mass can leave okay so as per the continuity equation if i apply the continuity equation okay so the concept of this equation says that net mass transfer rate the net mass transfer rate this is equal to rate of mass accumulation rate of mass accumulation in the control volume okay and this can be written as the total rate of mass inflow minus the total rate of mass at exit or outflow this is equal to the mass accumulation with respect to the change of mass with respect to time in the control volume that is this okay now let's apply the now what do you call it the steady flow energy equation and if you look at the diagram once more you have some mass inflow mass outflow okay you uh, the the surface temperature of the boundary is t we have some uh, heat transfer going on okay in in the system we have some shaft work coming out of the system and with the you know with this heat transfer we have some entropy transfer as well i hope you remember this concept there is no entropy transfer with work transfer now let's apply the energy equation all right now energy equation now with some mass inflow there will be some energy associated with it and that would be the total mass you know inflow rate into all the heads that is the enthalpy plus the kinetic energy plus the potential energy and that is all at the inlet minus the exit mass flow rate into enthalpy plus kinetic energy plus potential energy at exit so this is the net rate of energy transfer okay plus you have some heat inflow or heat transfer rate minus some shaft work output rate and this is equal to delta e by tau now this can be tau or this can be t as well t one and the same thing time okay now if you look at this whole you know this whole expression this is the net rate of energy transfer okay so this is net rate of energy transfer okay and due to this net rate of energy transfer there is some energy accumulation within the control volume so this is the rate of energy accumulation 
rate of energy accumulation in control volume so this is the net exchange of energy and this is the energy which stays in the control volume that is delta e upon delta t now this was the application of first law now if you apply the second law and as per the second law inequality or the entropy principle okay as per the entropy principle we would have this thing that is so i'll write down the uh, entropy principle entropy principle okay now as per this principle we need to have the net rate net rate of entropy transfer net rate of entropy transfer okay and uh, this should be less than or equal to the rate of increase of entropy in the control volume rate of increase of entropy in control volume all right so this is a very commonly understood thing because there is no entropy transfer with work output so there is some entropy increase within the system so if you look at this there is some entropy that comes in uh, with the mass inflow so you'll write down like this so you'll have delta m i dot into s i that is the entropy of the mass that comes in minus delta or summation m e dot into s e plus the entropy transfer due to the heat transfer that is this so that is q dash or q dot upon t and this is the you know entropy which is going in and this is less than or equal to the entropy change of the or the entropy increase of the control volume and that is delta s by delta t okay now here we all know that q dot is the rate of heat transfer at the location of the boundary where the temperature is t okay and uh, the ratio q dash by uh, q dot by t it accounts for the entropy transfer along with heat right now the difference or you can say the rate of entropy increase of the control volume exceeds or is equal to the net rate of entropy transfer into it now the, the difference that is there between the net rate of entropy transfer and the rate of increase of entropy is the entropy generation okay so the rate of entropy generation we all know this as per the uh, you know seen in the previous video that is the entropy transfer in closed system so entropy generation rate this is equal to delta s by delta t minus the entropy transfer with mass inflow okay the entropy transfer with mass outflow minus q dash q dot by t so this is the entropy generation rate and we all know that as per the second law as per the second law the entropy generation has to be greater than or equal to 0 okay now if the process is reversible if the process is reversible then there is no entropy generation so s dot gen this is equal to 0 we have seen this okay and for an irreversible process if the process is irreversible then s dot gen this is a positive value okay now if we assume steady state conditions okay now let us assume steady state conditions 
steady state conditions all right now in steady state conditions the continuity equation the continuity equation okay this will become delta or sigma m i dot is equal to sigma m e dot so whatever mass that comes in the same amount of mass goes out there is no accumulation of mass within the control volume okay now in the same uh, you know on the same lines if you look at the energy equation okay if you look at the energy equation let's go back to the energy equation a bit in steady state this would become zero okay so we will have let's write down this equation again we will have q dot okay minus w dot shaft plus sigma m i dot into h plus v square by 2 plus g z into i also oh, this this is the internal or the incoming energy minus sigma m e dot into h plus v square by 2 v square by 2 plus g z for the outgoing energy okay now this is equal to zero and this is because this term becomes zero there is no dependency on time there is no energy accumulation in the control volume okay and for steady state the entropy equation okay the entropy equation uh, that is this equation if you if you rewrite this equation if you rewrite this equation okay let's write it down this would be summation m i dot s i minus summation m e dot s e okay uh, plus q dot by t plus s dot gen and this is equal to delta s by delta t now in steady state conditions this become zero so we can rewrite this as summation m i dot s i minus summation m e dot s e plus q dot upon t minus or plus rather s dot gen is equal to zero so this is the steady state entropy equation this is the steady state energy equation and this is the continuity equation for a or for an open system now to summarize we can say that these equations okay these equations they are often solved simultaneously together with appropriate property relations now mass and energy if i talk about mass and energy if you go back to the top of the video because in 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 in, in an open system we have three interactions of mass energy and entropy now these two quantities mass and energy these two quantities are conserved okay in a process or in a system but entropy is not conserved so i would say entropy is not conserved all right now the rate at which entropy is transferred out that is at which it comes out of the system okay i would say s dot out okay the rate at which the entropy is transferred out must exceed the rate at which the entropy enters the control volume and this difference is the rate of entropy generation and this is due to the irreversibility and we have seen this in the previous video which explains the concept of uh, entropy generation within a system and it generalizes that uh, as per the second law any thermodynamic process would result in an an you know an entropy increase okay so this you know finishes the video on the entropy generation in an open system so i hope you understood the analysis and you would have noted down the important points in this particular analysis so after this let's move on to the next video and talk about first and second laws in a combination
So let's combine the first and second laws.